Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is all about you and how you are going to help your doctor in making a good and a correct diagnosis. Before moving ahead, subscribe to our channel and do press on the bell icon so that you come to know whenever we upload our new videos. The basis of today's video is uh, because we as doctors do encounter a lot of patients who come up to us with uh, quite, a num quite a number of scans already being done but uh, without any definitive diagnosis. Although quite a number of factors might be responsible if your diagnosis being inconclusive but there are a number of factors which you as a patient can modify and therefore help your doctor in coming to a particular diagnosis. The factors today what we are going to talk is very general in nature and it is not pertaining to any specific modality. The modalities that we as doctors, as radiologists use are uh, x-rays, ultrasounds, CD scans, MRIs and many other fluoroscopy procedures. So you need to find out a good radiologist and the radiologist might be an MD, might be a DNP or might be a TMRD. But what is essential is go to a radiologist. The radiologist is a doctor who has spent quite a number of years after MBBS in the branch of imaging that is in the branch of diagnosing you in the branch of looking inside you what is wrong with your body finding it out and uh, thereby conveying it to you second point is do give a proper good history and what is a history? A history is all about your complaints your problem, your issue so we do give you a form it has got specific columns like current complaints and uh, whether you have experienced a similar complaint previously or uh, does your family member has anything of similar sort what is, has been the nature of the supposedly you are having pain so what kind of pain you have been having from how many days you are having have you taken any drugs for that and in the past have you undergone the surgical procedure or any of your relatives uh, does have a significant history do you have like diabetes, hypertension whole bunch of questions we have prepared for you. My third point is, we all tend to have like blood workups done. So always accompany whatever blood files, blood workup you have got it done because it is all interconnected. It is not isolated. Everything is interconnected in medical field and we need to find that out. My fourth point is, always bring your previous ultrasound scans or any imaging which has been done. Like lately, in past one or two years. This is very very common mistake that people getting their scans done like ultrasound done even like two days back or four days back and a month back and not bringing them together. The diseases tend to evolve with time, they tend to change with time. So the kind of imaging that we are having today might not be the picture which was yesterday or day before and the evolution of your disease that is the time based change of your disease is going to help us in understanding what kind of disease it is. So it is very important if you have got some scans with you, be it anything, be it an x-ray, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, be it any of those scans, please do bring them with you. Different structures of our body have different kind of appearances and at times in order to differentiate the kind of the disease that you are having, we need to make you undergo different kind of scans like different kind of modalities like an ultrasound and a CT scan or an ultrasound and an MRI or a CT scan and an MRI or variable combinations. So it might be very very possible that you have come for one scan and you might be needing like two scans or three scans and it is totally justified. So be prepared for that and do not be startled when, you, when we tell you so. It is completely okay and it is only for your betterment in order to reach to a particular diagnosis. My sixth point is so uh, make it very clear to yourself that uh, any of these modalities like ultrasound, CT scans and MRIs are not painful. A lot of patients coming up and asking is it going to be painful? None of these modalities are painful until we do some of the intervention procedures. So in general no modality which involves just scanning like just imaging you is not painful. A general rule, if you are going to have scan of your abdomen, be it anything, be it like ultrasound, be it a CT scan, be it an MRI, go fasting for at least 8 hours. This is going to make us visualize a few of your organs really better and you will not have to wait up and we will be confidently saying that yes, this is normal. Also, we need you carrying water bottle at least of 1 liter when you are going for an ultrasound abdominal scan. Okay? This fasting rule does not apply for pregnant women. 
what we end up having is a lot of pregnant patients coming up fasting and then telling us please do our scans faster and please prioritize us because uh, we are empty stomach and we have not eaten well the fact is that you do not need to be fasting you can come up after eating so we as radiologists decide uh, the kind of the modality that you are going to have the modality which is going to give us the maximum information with minimum radiation exposure to you and uh, that would be decided upon all of these points by your good day and we come to know what exactly time would be appropriate for you for us to use that modality do we need to use some contrast or not hope you liked our video and uh, if you did so please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon we are going to move ahead with lot many other videos regarding uh, what is important for you to know as a patient who is going to undergo some scan